basically, um, I don't have time to type all this out, but um, basically what happened to them um, is they ran into cold weather. They were probably in the middle watch or toward the end of the watches. Uh, when they left Kodiak, it was 40 degrees, no freezing spray, no nothing. That's why he was running on outside waters. Um, ordinarily, he would run inside uh, closer to the beach. Um, in all likelihood, he put the crew on watches. There's six six crews, so probably um, an hour apiece usually is standard. Uh, but sometime in the middle of that watch, they ran from 40 degree weather to allegedly it was between five and seven degrees Fahrenheit, which is perilous when you're on a boat. I mean, it, that freaking ice just sticks to it. Um, it's shocking. Uh, you know, we start icing up at 27 degrees. 20 is freaking cold. 10 is, you, we can't even fish uh, much below 20 because the crab, uh, the, all their legs break off. They freeze up before you can get them out of the water and into the tank. Um, and when it gets below 10 degrees, you better find somewhere to go because your, uh, your boat will just grow ice. So even to ice up a big tub like the uh, Scandies uh, to the point where it's going to roll over, literally you can do it in less than an hour. So if you had a couple of guys on watch, the boat started making ice. Nobody wants to wake the boss up, right? And uh, they probably drove it for two or three hours. And by the time he got up, I, I, I would bet my ass this is exactly how it went down. He got up and his boat had a 15, 20 degree list to starboard. And that's beyond the point of no return. There's no coming back from that. The boat is so heavy by that point. Every little wavelet is going to stand up. And it sounds like they were in 15 to 20 foot seas, which are, you know, even trying to launch a life rafts and get guys into the rafts in those kind of conditions is hellish. Uh, the whole boat is fucking frozen. Uh, you can't stand up on anything. That, um, allegedly, one guy was washed over the side right there while they were trying to get in the raft. They never saw him again. He was in a survival suit. So they did have time. They did get off a of mayday. Um, but, yeah, it's freaking quick, man. You know, when the shit hits the fan, it freaking flies. And, uh, God bless those guys. You know, Gary's been doing this. He's third generation. You know, his grandfather was a fisherman. His father was a fisherman. Gary's been on boats since he was his, since he could freaking walk. And uh, you know, he knows better. Something like that would, you know, would not happen if he were up uh, and awake. You know, I mean, they had options. You know, he, but once you reach that critical point where the, the boat is listed over so far that it won't even come back upright anymore, you know, you can transfer fuel or you know do whatever you can to mitigate it, but. It's so heavy, there's so much displacement that it starts making spray at a greater rate. And the heavier the boat gets, the more spray it makes. And, you know, next thing you know, that's it. You can't even, you know. By that time, the pots are all iced up. It's like basically a skating rink all the way up and across the pots. You can't break them loose. You can't break the binders loose. You know, the binders are under a foot of ice. And, uh, you know, I've seen them ice up on you know, just... Uh, less than two hours, you know, we put almost two feet of ice on a boat before, and, uh, you know, you just, fuck, it's just, uh, it's terrible, terrible, uh, terrible to think about, you know, God bless those guys, and, um, yeah, thanks for the updates, that was a different news source than, uh, what I've been reading, but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so, we're still in the boat harbor, it's cold as fuck and blowing like hell out here, so we won't be leaving until the wind comes down, and, uh, but I don't have to haul pots out anyways, we're just, we're gonna, just a deck load, but, uh, even with that, you know, we're freaking minor P's and Q's this time of year, so, anyways, cheers, happy new year, and, uh, God bless you guys, love you.